This is the Algebra Set A worksheet, the non-calculator worksheet. So make sure you're looking at this particular worksheet. This is what it should look like. Right? Make sure you get it to hand and you're ready to start working through this. Okay, let's look at the first couple of questions. The first question, it's minus 1 is less than n is less than or equal to 3 is an integer. That means it's a whole number. Write down all the possible values of n. One of the ways I suggest doing this to people is that we write down all the numbers from minus 1 to 3, and then we cross out the ones that we don't need. 3 is included because there's that extra line there. Minus 1 is not included. So my answers are going to, my answers are going to be 0, 1, 2, 3. That's it. Minus 1 is not included. So you don't write minus 1 there. There isn't that line over there. Okay, make sure you know how to do that. That's a pretty easy question. Question 2. 3a squared plus 5a. We're going to factorize that. Factorize means put it into brackets. Look at the numbers 3 and 5. Nothing other than 1 could go into that. So no number is going to be placed outside. But they have both an a in common. So I'm going to put an a outside. A times 3a is going to give me 3a squared, plus a times 5 is 5a. So that's my answer once I factorize it. Expand is the opposite. Multiply out the brackets. 2x times 3x. 2 times 3 is 6. x times x is x squared. So 2x times 3x is 6x squared, minus 2x times 4 is 8x. Okay, make sure you're comfortable with that. You can do it. And please do take care when you're doing that to multiply everything inside the bracket by the number outside. Question 4, I need to get rid of that plus 3 by taking away 3. 7 take away 3 is 4, so I'm going to have 8x is greater than 4. Divide by 8, so I'm going to have 8x is greater than 4 over 8, which I could simplify down to a half. Some people write that this as x is greater than 0 0.5. That's perfectly right as well. Please make sure you put the inequality. Don't put an equal sign because you will get it wrong then, and that's an easy mark to lose. Question 5. Complete the table of values. This is to get you used to completing this table in a non-calculator setting. Sometimes you get this in a calculator paper, but then sometimes you get it in a non-calculator paper. You need to square the x values and then take away two lots of x from it. So 2 squared is 4. Take away 2 times 2, which is 4. That gives me 4 take away 4, which is 0. You need to write all of this down as you're doing it. That's the best way to do this. 1 squared is 1. Take away 2 times 1, which is 2. So 1 take away 2 is minus 1. 0 squared is 0. Take away 2 times 0 is 0. So 0 take away 0 is 0. If I put minus 1 in there, now this is where it gets tricky. Minus 1 squared, minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. Right? So 1 squared is plus 1. Minus 2 Minus 2 times minus 1. So a minus times a minus is a plus. So this is a plus now. 1 times 2 is 2. So minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2. So remember, minus 1 squared was 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay. Do write it down. You will get it right. You do need to take your time and understand it. Minus 2 squared. Minus 2 squared is going to be 4. Minus 2 times minus 2 is another 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. That's my answer there. Do take your time. Go through this repeatedly. Make sure you understand it and you can do it. Question six. I'm going to start off by writing x because that's what the scale is in. I'm going to put the crocodiles on either side. I'm not putting any lines underneath them because both these circles are empty. Okay. Then I'm going to look at where the circles are with the numbers. And one end has three and the other end has minus two. That's it. The crocodiles always point towards the left, always. Just do it that way. Make sure you always do. Question 7. Times the numbers. 4 times 5 is 20. Add the powers. a to the 4 times a to the 8 is going to be a to the 12. 4 plus 8 is 12. Easy as. Question 8. Multiply the brackets. 4x minus 12 is equal to 2x minus 5. I'm going to do all the letters on one side, all the numbers on the other. 4x is going to stay put. I'm going to bring the 2x across and it's going to become minus 2x equals. I'm going to leave the minus 5 there and bring the minus 12 across and that's going to become plus 12. So 4x take away 2x is 2x. Minus 5 plus 12 is 7. I'm going to divide by 2 and that gives me 3.5. x is equal to 3.5 and that's my answer. Make sure you're comfortable with that. You are guaranteed to get one of these in the exam. 
So make sure you're definitely able to do that. You are also very likely to get one of question 9 and 10 in the exam. The nth term of this sequence is going up in 7s, so it's 7n, and the number in front of 3, if there was one, would be minus 4, so it's 7n minus 4. With reason, is 73 a term in the sequence? Make 7n minus 4 equal to 73. Right, these are your reasons and your workings to support why. You're going to add 4, you're going to divide, that gives you 77, you're going to divide by 7, which gives you 11. Because n is a whole number here, right, that means that 73 is in the sequence. And I'm going to write exactly that. Because n is a whole number, 73 is in the sequence. Remember this and do write it down. Question 11. I need to factorize this expression. So we, I think a lot of you are familiar with this. x goes in front of each. Right? This is a quadratic. It has three terms in it, an x squared, an x, and a number term. So that's when you do this two sets of brackets. Um, x in the front. I need two numbers of times together to give me 15, but I'm going to add them up to make 2. I think a lot of you will spot 3 and 5. You could put it in either order there. I need to get positive 2, so the 5 needs to be positive, and the 3 needs to be negative. Think about this. Make sure you're happy with it. Make sure you can do this yourself. Question 12 is the same as question two, oh, it's 11, but it says solve. Right, and it's all equal to zero. So this is it's pretty much the same. You have to factorize first, but it, you've already done it in question 11. And the two values of x are going to be these numbers, but with the opposite sign, plus 3 and minus 5. That's it. If you are able to do that, make sure you can do it. Ten In question 13, 10 divided by 2 is 5. x to the 7 divided by x to the 3. You take away the power 7 take away 3 is 4. That's x to the power of 4. Question 14. I think you are likely to get something like this. This is a quite a clever question. It's a difference of two squares, right? 9 is a square number and so is 36. So 9a squared is 3a all squared. Take away 36, which is 6 all squared. So as a difference of two squares, it's going to be 3a plus 6 and 3a minus 6. Okay? Make sure you understand it, you're familiar with it, and you can do it. Question 15 is also another tricky question that people find somewhat challenging. Start with the x. We want to rearrange this to make x is subject to the formula. So start with the x. You're going to square it first. Then you're going to take uh, times it by 2. Then you're going to take away 6. And all of that ends up giving you y. So x, we square it first to get x squared. We times it by 2 to get 2x squared. Then we take away 6, which is 2x squared take away 6. And all of that gives us y. Now, Focus on this flow diagram and work backwards. y plus 6, divide by 2, and you've got to square root all of that. So y plus 6 looks like just y plus 6. I'm going to put all of that over 2, and then square root the whole thing, and then all of that is going to equal x. Do study this and make sure you are able to do it. Okay, Take your time. It is pretty straightforward once you understand how. Question 16. I need, first of all, to get rid of that 3 under the line because that line goes under everything at the top. So times by 3, 3 times 3 is 9, so I'll get 7 minus 5x is equal to 9. I need to get rid of the 7, okay? And to do that, I need to take away 7. That's going to leave behind minus 5x, and on the other side, I'll have 2. Okay, so I have minus 5x is equal to 2. I need to get rid of that minus 5, so I divide by minus 5. And I simply get x is equal to 2 over minus 5. Yep, easy peasy, really straightforward. In question 17, because all of the stuff inside the brackets is being cubed, I need to cube all three things in there. And by the three things, I mean the number 3, x to the power of 5, and y squared. I need to cube all three of them. So x cubed, it's 3 cubed, x to the power of 5 cubed, and y squared cubed. 3 cubed, you should know. 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27 x to the 5 all cubed, you times the powers together, which is x to the 15. And y squared all cubed, you times the powers together, which gives you y to the power of 6. Okay, pretty straightforward there. A good one there. Question 18. We want to factorize this expression completely. 4 and 12. We're going to take 4 outside the brackets. They both have x in common, and they both have a y in common. So we're going to take 4xy outside the brackets. 4xy times y would give me 4xy squared minus, and 4xy times 3 
it's going to give me the 12xy. Again, you study this, make sure you're okay with it. 35 divided by 5 is 7. e to the 7 divided by e. That e down there is to the power of 1. So do make sure you write in a power of 1 there. 7 take away 1 is e to the power of 6. 9 take away 2 is 7. So that's f to the power of 7. And that's your answer. Question 20. I need to draw my connectors in. Make sure you do that. 2x times x is 2x squared. 3 times 7 is 21. But 1's plus and 1's minus. So it's minus 21. 3x times x is positive 3x. 2x times minus 7 is negative 14x. Okay, think about that last one. Make sure you're okay with it. In these cases, it's the middle two you always need to simplify or to tidy up. So my question, when I, sorry, my answer when I write it out is going to be 2x squared. 3x take away 14x is minus 11x. And the last bit is minus 21. Okay, there's a lot here. Right? There's a lot to take in. And there's a lot of potential marks in this particular question uh, sheet. Make sure you're able to do it. Go through it repeatedly before you try sheet B. Make sure you understand it all before you try sheet B and think about them. Rewind this, look at it again, and make sure you do understand it properly.